in the last episode. Our protagonist encountered the ruined king in game 1, ruining the early game for Papa's jungler as Diego stole the dragon that the bug worked so hard for. Why Guy tried to gain the early lead to make up for it by unleashing menacing menopause, but misfortune turned the fight around with Flash, showering the misfortunate ones with her bullets. The enemy markswoman got a lot of shutdown kills from Papa's team, but there's only one problem. She's a markswoman, a walking pile of gold in the mercy of an assassin. Being one win away to his master promos, the matchmaking gods heard Why Guy's plea blessing him with outstanding teammates, and with Papa in the zone, it was the perfect recipe to win the game as Why Guy's team dealt an unexpected amount of damage that led to a couple of zoning death from belows. The Lord of Wydron sends his regards to the manga readers for not spoiling anything in the comment section, but of course Papa encourages us to work on the next episode right away before any spoiler leaks not because he doesn't trust you guys, but because good guy why guy. For my next trick, I'll make their life bar. Papa's been in and out of the realm of masters, and here we are still trying to figure out LB's next trick. An excellent response from our protagonist saves Udir from certain death. Why guys good guyness also appears to be overflowing this episode hoping LB to get back to her career in the hopes of knowing her next trick. All cronies gained on that fight enables Papa to unleash his first weapon of disorder, psychotic anxiety, to establish dominance forcing the enemy bot lane to back. Why guy could have easily hooked Blitzcrank there, but his good guy nature got the better of him. This Udir going in 1v3 looking like he's about to massacre them all. Papa admires the murderous intent you got going there, but I'm glad you held it back. Big mistake, why guy immediately punishes Blitzcrank for mindlessly throwing his hook by mindlessly throwing his hook, letting his support finish the job with a couple of highly mechanical right clicks. What a calculated play from our protagonist, he knew that waiting for Kaisi's health bar to reach his threshold would mean death, so he decided to use his ult early for an excellent display of Papa's plot armor. Over prediction can lead to death, if only Kaisa has her flash up, well at least Papa got Swain to flash and help to dare achieve his dream of aggravatingly assaulting someone.
Why guy had around 500 gold before the fight. Look at him now, the Lord of Wydra bringing his foes down to their knees with the power of Stonk. Or a goth looking like a problem question mark, I'm afraid it was already too late. Remember the power of Stonk that I mentioned a while ago? Well it didn't only affected Y guy, but also his support. As our protagonist watches from a distance through his grey screen, Vayne vale pops off to remind the adversaries of Wider that all their efforts in this game will be in vain. Haha <laughs> classic comedy like and subscribe by the way. Mildly inconveniencing or a goth bought enough time for his friends to get better positioning in the pit. Still lurking in the back lines, our protagonist spots a wounded prey finishing LB's trick that we're still yet to see. The final encounter with Aura Goth looking like a total raid boss fight. Well played little crab, but like I said earlier. Vain. It appears that replacing the project core and doing a total overhaul on the suit fixed it, 
just a quick recap for the new followers. Why guy from Realm 51 gave Why guy a project call giving Pike his project form, but it had a virus on it and it turns out that Why guy from Realm 51 is evil Papa giving him access to Papa's games to ruin his climb. I honestly forgot how everything goes due to overwork but I believe a few loyal followers of Wydra can enlighten you if you have questions in the comments below. Hey Wydra by the way. Thanks to the project suit's benefit of retaining Papa at a constant rate of 80% autism level, Wygar was able to enter into a state of pure concentration making his physical form intertwine with time and space whatever that means. What I'm trying to say is Varus's ultimate should have hit but it didn't please Papa give us some rest. We're working 18 hours a day pumping out these over 10 minute episodes and it's driving both of us insane.